Good morning, dear students. How are you, all of you? Now, I think all of you are aware about the deadly coronavirus. You are maintaining the social distancing, keeping yourself free from this deadly coronavirus. But we should not forget our studies, which is the most important thing. Already I have completed chapter 1. Today I am going to start with chapter 2. Dear students, class 4, please open your computer book, chapter number 2. Chapter 2, GUI Operating System, Desktop Management. Now, first of all, we should know the full form of GUI, so Graphical User Interface. Now, GUI Operating System that has a graphical environment and consisting of buttons and icons. Means where you get the ready-made buttons, ready-made buttons and graphics icon, clicking on that, the computer works. Now, the function of an operating system, it coordinates and manages the activities of a computer and and it takes the overall function takes the overall functions of the computer system now in case of windows we have the various version the most popular one is windows 98 windows 2000 different versions and the latest one what we have is windows 10 now now we'll see the different features the features of windows 7 first is attractive interactive and easy to use it means that the because of the gui features the user can easily work with the help of the ready-made graphical buttons then second searching made easier searching means uh, if you click in that search box type the file you can easily get it then the third feature Flexible taskbar. In flexible taskbar uh, means the, the taskbar is present at the bottom of the desktop. Clicking on that, you can easily switch over from one window to another. The next one is coming as Windows supports multitasking. Means what? Means a student can open MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint at the same time and can switch over from one application to another. Next feature is coming as the jump list. Jump list is a, a, a the feature which is added newly. Uh, so it will show you the recently visited websites. The next is coming as cascading delete. Cascading de delete the definition is given here. So all the opens windows from the top left corner of the screen to the bottom right in the player. So it means that many windows can be open at the same time and clicking on that we can easily open it next feature is coming as the tax bar now all of you please look at the figure given below the figure 5.2.1 tax bar so this tax bar is present at the bottom of the desktop here we have the different graphical icons are there like start button quick launch bar, notification area, speaker, date and time. Now, the tax bar can be seen at the, now the, all of you come to the first line, can be seen at the bottom of the screen as a long horizontal bar with different icons present which helps the user to function it quickly. Now we'll see the definition of each button one by one. Now, the first one is coming as the start button. So the start button, the start button is the most used button on the Windows desktop. So you will find the start button over here. Clicking on this, a pop-up menu appears. Clicking on those menus, various applications you can open easily. Then the next is coming as the notification area. The notification area is present on the right side of the tax bar. So it provides the status notification about the programs running on the computer example antivirus next feature the important one is the quick launch bar now this quick launch bar this is the area between the start button and the notification area so the user can easily add the most commonly used application so that i can open it whenever i like Examples like Internet Explorer, 
what application, tax spend, etc. can be placed there. I mean the icons can be placed there exactly. for, for quick reference. Next is coming as customizing the tax bar. Customizing the tax bar. Now the tax bar which is present at the bottom of your desktop, there are many features are there which can be enabled to make the work easy. So for this, you see the diagram given on the right side. So this diagram, so here you see so many features, tax bar, lock the tax bar, hide the tax bar, use small icons, then all these features customize. Then you have these tabs over here, start menu, toolbars, all these things are there. When after finally you make the changes according to your wish, finally click on apply and ok button. Your personal settings will be done. Now you come to the left side. Now you see so many different options and the different features are there. Like whatever I showed you here on the figure is explained over here. Lock the tax bar. <laughs> Means the tax bar will not be visible all the time. Auto hide the tax bar. Means Whenever, whenever you will take the mouse at the bottom of your monitor, the tax bar will be visible. Moment you remove the mouse, it will again hide. Next coming as use of small icons, means the size, uh, size of the icons either will increase or decrease. The next is coming as specify the location by choosing the any desired option from the, from the drop down menu of the tax location on the screen so that I can present it either on the bottom as default top right and left but usually the tax bar is present at the bottom of the monitor next is coming as specify how icon should be displayed now normally the always by choosing the any desired option from the drop down menu of the tax bar you can choose always combine hide labels so here these uh, icons will be piled up and and we can open it next is coming as combine when the tax bar is full means all the icons will be shown together and there is no space on the tax bar and will and will show each window label next to the icon and the last option is coming as never combine it prevents any piling means in a queue it will not be displayed next topic is coming as icons now the icons are the small pictures or the icons are the small picture that represent files folders and programs now you will say where are the icons present these icons are present on your desktop or on your monitor so the small pictures or the icons which you see on your desktop when you switch on the computer those are known as icons now these icons what is the advantage of using icons and icons are placed on the desktop so that you can open any application quickly now here you see so they have given some examples these are very very important and the definition so first one is the my computer my computer or the computer icon which is present on your desktop so it displays the definition is very very important uh, stored it contains stored on your computer system double clicking on any of the drive icon will display the files and folders contained in that drive Next is the application icons. So the, here they have given an example of PowerPoint. It can be MS Word, MS Excel, any personal files you can keep it for your easy reference. So we have application icon, shortcut icon, document icon, network icon, recycle, by, recycle bin. So all the related definitions are very very important. Next is coming as customizing the desktop means the desktop what the desktop what appears or the desktop which appears on your screen i can make a personal changes so windows 7 is quite flexible provides many options to change the settings of the desktop according to your choice 
now how can i do it now in order to make the changes so first of all i will do right click on your desktop then the option will come select personalize option uh, option and the option will appear personalize option will appear on your screen now what are the changes you can do first is the window color window color i can make the changes next option is coming as select enable transparency means window glass border start menu color will become transparent next option is coming as color intensity means the the darkness of a particular color the next option is coming click on show color mixer so the hue saturation and the brightness these are the different options next is coming as advanced appearance setting now so here what will happen is the window color appearance dialog box will open next coming as click on the drop down arrow place next to the item list box and select active title bar option from the list the next is the similar types are coming as the change of the color font different options when every uh, when all the changes or the customization is done finally click on apply and okay button next is coming as customizing the window setup uh, in this we have the two options is setting the date and time means the date and time what you see uh, in the right side of your tax bar the it can be changed as you do make the changes in your mobile phone so here it is coming so the current date and finally you click on this button change date and time settings similar way similar way you can make the changes of the timing over here and the steps are given the steps are very simple setting coming as volume setting volume of speaker it means that the volume of the speaker can be changed by clicking on this icon which is present on the right side of your tax bar and here by clicking on this arrow i can if you go up the volume will increase if you go down the volume will decrease now the last part is coming as the use of shortcut menu now the main advantage of the shortcut menu present on the desktop is i can open any particular icon very quickly now when you right click a pop up menu appears which is called context menu using this pop up you can save your time to access commands means i can open any applications quickly the context menu is also called the shortcut icon now all of you the last part coming as right click on the blank area of the desktop so if you right click you see here so many different options are coming like view short by refresh paste paste shortcut undo rename group graphics properties graphic options new screen resolution gadgets personalizer so these are the different options with the help of that you can make a various kinds of changes in your desktop just right click select the different options of your choice whichever you feel the best follow the steps properly and make the changes now dear students you see at the back fill in the blanks then here we have true and false application based multi choice and the next page question answers are there dear students you try to write this question answers and objective types in your book when the school reopens i will check it thank you